Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions, and as you can see I'm going to be watching episode 11 of the third season of Overlord today. So we are slowly getting to the end of this season, and I'm kind of wondering uh, about where we are going to end this. And right now we are looking at this war about to start, and it's looking really scary for this, uh, this Erontel city and all of the people living in it, as the Empire is planning on this invasion and seeking this land for Momon. And uh, and Momon is actually going to to help the Empire as well with some army, and yeah, it's not it's not going to to look good, and it's going to be as Lord Ains, and it's especially going to to be interesting to see when Stronov finally faces him and how they're going to deal with it since they know each other from the past, and in the past uh, Lord Ains helped uh, Stronov, so yeah, it's going to be a really curious situa situation when this happens. And I can't wait to see it. So right now we are going to see uh, these guys uh, joining uh, Karn Village with all of this army, like 5,000 people. So I don't know what they're going to do there. Uh, I believe they're uh, like going to gather information on Lord Ains, uh, since uh, it was uh, a village that he helped before. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens entirely. And it's going to be some really tense moments. So I'm already like trying to get prepared for it. Uh, I'm already thinking that we might be losing uh, some people that we are like attached to, or at least that I am. And yeah, it's not going to to be nice if that happens again. Uh, I think we, like you both, uh, you you all saw how I reacted to to Arsh's death, and that wasn't really pleasant at all. I mean, I just felt like really sad, and I just hope that nothing like that happens again. But I mean, it's Overlord, and I'm already like picking up the like the type of anime this is and how suddenly these things might happen these more dark uh, things might be happening so yeah uh just hoping that it doesn't happen too often and we'll see what uh, what's going to to be happening in today's episode so i hope you guys are ready and let's start it Hmm. I love that, but we'll see. Hmm. This guy already has already has his plan. I mean, I don't know if they could get the people in this vill village on their side and bring them to face uh, Lord Ains even, so... I don't know. I doubt he would ever kill them if he ever faced them, so... It might be a good plan for him, I don't know, if it works, but I doubt it will work. When I first started Overlord, I had the idea that Albed would have a much bigger influence on this. And I mean, she might be having a bigger influence in the next seasons, but right now she she's this fun character that I really enjoy. But she didn't do anything special during these three seasons, unfortunately. But we'll see what happens. Maybe she, she will have her time to shine at a later point. We're back to current village. Back to Henry. And Nefiria.
Yeah, she's already the chief, so... This experience to her... She's tired of people calling her chief. Just call me Henry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't do it too. Really? Um, how did that happen? <laughs> He did that on purpose. This guy, <laughs> everyone knew it. Damn. Okay. Oh, it's for her. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's put it like that. Oh my. <laughs> this situation. Oh, yeah, to ruin it. Yeah, the guys are there already. No time to have fun now. And Lupis is already telling him. Yep, <laughs> basically. Yeah, against that village. <laughs> sure. And she's like, there, I'm just reporting everything. <laughs> and Rince is so fun. Damn. I mean, yeah, he's only interested in the potions. Damn. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. They won't go against Lord Hines after what he did for them. Must be really afraid.
No one. Damn. Oh. Oh, damn. I had the idea it was inferior. <laughs> Man, this really sucks. Oh, that thing. Like these goblins are going to sacrifice themselves. Yep. They're not going to let you in. Damn, this music. Yep. Oh, this situation, yeah. Yep. So it worked. Yeah, they're leaving them. Oh, they're coming back. Really? She's gonna summon them.
It's basically what happened in the first episodes. Yep, so now is it? What? Even... Even Momon is surprised, like, what happened? <laughs> he was like, what? What's happening? What did she summon? Damn. They're already defeating some ogres. I'm really curious. Ooh. These ones have armor. There's also lots of them. And they know who's on their side. Really? <laughs> Even... <laughs> Yep. Well, those ones are apparently way stronger. Wait, what the? How many are they? Man, she got the big army now. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> they can't even touch them. Goblin Paladin Knight? How many goblins? Goblin Beast Rider Corpse. And like the drummers are these guys... Archers. Wow! How many did she summon? Probably like 1000 or even magic. This army though! Bombardment squad. Yeah, that's... that's over. How though? She was chief, now she's a general. <laughs> 5,000! It's basically the same number as the other guys, but way stronger. Yeah, we need to go. Oh, there's even assassins. Really? 
Really? They keep appearing. Damn! Okay, that guy is gone. More like his head is gone. Yeah. It happened. Getting along with the goblins, gaining their trust. Yeah, sure. <laughs> they always say this. <laughs> Just go along with it. She's in love. I mean, he's in love. This is the guy, right? What's going to happen to all of these 5,000 goblins though? They're going to live in the village, I mean... Or will they just disappear? I'm not sure. They're not going to be able to fit 5,000 goblins there. That's for sure. Damn, these guys. They lost a lot of people. Not mere goblins, they're way stronger. Oh my god, and Lupis is there. Yeah, to kill them, basically. Man, this guy. Really? Yeah, to this maze, it, it doesn't matter. That face. Really? Damn. This is not going to end well for this guy. I mean, it's already <laughs> not looking good. Well, there goes the successor to the throne, I guess. I don't think this guy is going to survive. Damn, that's really... That's really something. And after the episode ends, I'm actually going back to that scene. I believe that Lupi said that she was the one who summoned all of those goblins. So it wasn't like a side effect. It was just something that Lupi said. <laughs> that's... That's really sick. But I want to make sure of it. But hey, this was a really intense episode and we got to see another battle happening and this time against this current village. And I'm glad that they were able to like defend themselves. At the same time, the kingdom already lost a lot of uh, people. So not, now they have even less people to face the Empire.
and Lord Eind. So yeah, this is like this story is getting so like it's uh, developing a lot, and there's like so many things to think about. It's a really complex situation by this time. So I guess we are going back to the invasion of the Empire in the next episode. Yeah, it's about to start. Oh my god, that title. Yep. It's not looking good. Massacre. Man, that's insane. Anyway, this was a, a really sick episode. And I just want to... Just want to go back to this scene to, to read it again. Mostly because... I believe she said that she was the one who summoned them, right? That was really... Really something. Yeah, she was the one. Okay, so that was that was basically it. Okay, so this confirms. I was like a bit confused. Uh, I didn't read the first part. So yeah. Uh, anyway, she was the one who did it, apparently. So there isn't any side effect to that item. It was like... There is a side effect, but it's called loopies. And yeah, it was... Really quite something to have summoned all of those goblins. And I'm kind of glad that it happened because they needed this to defend themselves or or else it would be really, really bad for them. And they wouldn't be able to defend against like these 5,000 people, most likely. So it's really good that this happened, uh, even though I can't really like say that I'm happy that uh, like these guys died because they are part of this kingdom of Irantel and they're trying to defend against the Empire. So... It's a really complicated situation and they're trying their best to, to defend their kingdom against the Empire and Lord Ainz. So yeah, I can't say that I'm happy with any of this. Uh, like I'm happy that uh, the Karn Village managed to defend themselves and they didn't get casualties. Uh, I mean, they, they probably lost some ogres and some goblins, but at least they didn't get like any like massacred like what's apparently going to happen in the next episode i don't know who but if the title is called if the title of the episode is called massacre uh yeah it's not uh, it's not looking good already and i'm fearing that this Irantel kingdom might be like ending and uh, like the empire may, might just like take possession of it and i don't know just like I don't see any way out for these guys, to be honest. It's it's going to be really painful to watch. And I'm pretty sure many people are going to die. Probably some people that we, like, or at least that I feel, like, empathize with and that I really like. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully we don't lose uh, many people that we, we like. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to watch the final two episodes. Uh, it's going to be really intense, apparently. We are going to have this war, after all. I had the idea that this would be just a preparation and we we would have this war in the next season, but apparently it's already happening and it might be ending as well in the last episode. So yeah, really curious to see what, what happens and it's uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel and you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So see ya!